Hello and welcome to Wednesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where today we've got another puzzle for you by the great Zetamath. This one is called Duplicity, and I've read the rules, and Zetamath, I have to pull you up on this. You should have called this Noah's Ark. I absolutely love the idea. Um, basically, this, uh, I mean, all of these rules are standard. The rules are quite long to the puzzle, but, but if you're familiar with Variant Sudoku, there will be nothing... Um, nothing you haven't seen before here but you can see if you study the grid there are two of every type of clue I love this idea um, but yeah so it's it's definitely a Noah's Ark Sudoku today and I, I looked it up on Logic Master Germany the reason we're doing this is it's been recommended to us so many times um, and I was particularly amused by a comment from somebody called F. F. Nenu and F. Nenu wrote that this is an absolutely uh, this puzzle shows absolutely amazing ways of rewarding the solver for asking weird questions <laughs> so our job today is going to be to ask as many weird questions as possible and hopefully we'll figure out the answers um but i've been delighted actually um zeta math i know has moved house recently i hope that's all gone well zeta math um and um and I think had taken a bit of a hiatus from setting. But th but this is the second puzzle I've seen from Zetamath post-move. So I think he's back in the swing. And that is that is great for the Sudoku world. Um, and think, talking of things that are great for the Sudoku world, I must recommend to you, if you haven't looked at yesterday's uh, video on the channel, this is the puzzle that we featured. Mixo's Prison Break. This is just a wonderful puzzle wonderful sudoku so if you have a few minutes um, after you've finished duplicity do check this one out i, I really think that you'll enjoy it um, now i must move on i've got birthdays to do today a few birthdays i'm going to be start and I'm, I'm going to be start what what's wrong with my mouth um, i'm going to start with a very young birthday aiden Aiden, you turned one, I believe, yesterday. I, I didn't. I'm not late with this. Your your daddy, uh, Jeremy, um, wrote to me and said that you'd appreciate a shout out, but he but he only wrote overnight. So it's 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 not my fault that I'm a day late with this. Um, but basically, Jeremy is very proud of your mummy, Aiden, uh, and the way that she can solve Sudoku puzzles before bed. And she was apparently watching Cracking the Cryptic during labour. Now, I know I have a soporific effect, but I doubt even I could overcome the trials of labour. Um, but Aiden, Aiden, anyway, I hope, I think you might be too young to have chocolate cake, but I, maybe not. Maybe ask your parents, they might let you have a little bit. Um, and anyway, a very happy birthday. Um, next, Erica, it's your birthday. And I know this because your fiancé, Logan, over there in Connecticut, wrote to us. And apparently, Erica, you do use the videos to fall asleep um, as Logan uh, watches watches once he gets home from his late night shifts. So anyway, Erica, I hope that you have a great birthday today. Next, uh, I think it's Frederic, um, who has turned a secret age today. And I know this because her boyfriend, Robin, uh, wrote to us from Amos. Is it Amos Fort? Am I saying that correctly? I might not be, but it's in Holland. Um, anyway, Robin, uh, sorry, Frederic, um, Robin wanted to wish you many happy returns, as do I. And I hope you have a great day today. And then finally, over there in Denmark, it's Karina's birthday tomorrow. And Karina turns 32 um, and wanted a birthday shout out sort of a day, a day early because the videos do come out an hour later. On the, uh, on the continent of Europe. So that is quite late. But anyway, Karina, happy birthday for tomorrow. I hope you have an absolutely brilliant day, of course. And that's my birthdays done. Um, what else do I need to tell you? No, just, uh, just as usual, we've got this wonderful Sudoku hunt. I say wonderful, it really is wonderful. The comments on this have been really terrific. Um, Kraken the Cryptic, uh, six puzzles therein very achievable by the 20th if you want to enter the competition and if you want to have a go and you're not a patron it's a couple of bucks a month and i um i i think i can make a fairly credible claim that it is the best value for money entertainment on planet earth if you have any love of puzzles um and yeah and that's all i've got to tell you so why don't we have a look at zeta maths duplicity slash noah's ark and um 
it should have been called Zeta Maths Arc, maybe. That would have been a good title. Uh, and these are the rules. And as I say, these rules are lengthy, but, but all of the rules, so far as I can tell, are standard. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So we need to put the numbers one to nine in each row, in each column, and in each three by three box once each. Um, a purple line must contain a set of non-repeating consecutive digits, uh, which can appear in any order. So if we worked out this square was a one, uh, then we know that this line must contain one, two, three, and four because the digits on it need to be consecutive. And we could do something like that. I deliberately didn't put the two there because I spotted that was going to break this glue. Um, now, next rule. Adjacent digits along a green line must differ by at least five. So these are German whispers lines. So if this is a one, this digit needs to be at least six because it needs to be at least five different from one. So it could be six, seven, eight, or nine. And you would then extend that. So if this was nine, this then has to be at least five different from nine. So that could be one, two, three, or four, but not one now, because that would break the rules of Sudoku. Um, cells separated by a black dot must contain digits in a one to two ratio, i.e. one digit must be double the other. So if this was a one, well, this that wouldn't work. Let's make that a three. If that's a three, that's got to be a six, because we need one digit to be double the other, and we can't put one and a half into this square. So that's how black dots work. In cages, digits must sum to the small clue in the top left corner of the cage. We only have two little cages today, so we don't need a rule to say that digits can't repeat because they really can't. Normal Sudoku rules will take care of that possibility. Um, so, so those two squares sum to 12, these sum to 14, obviously. Now, what next? Digits along an arrow must sum to the digit in that arrow's gray circle. Okay. Um, so these two squares, let's make that one, that make, make that six, that would be a seven because one plus six equals seven. Very simple along arrows. Uh, we've still got a couple more rules. Digits along a thermometer must increase from the bulb end. So we have two, all of the clues are quite short in this puzzle, which is a bit worrying. So if this was a two, this would have to be higher than two, it could be a five. It doesn't have to go up in sort of steps of one. So 257 would be a completely legitimate way of filling that thermometer. We just have to make sure that just like mercury rises, as the temperature rises and we move away from the bulb of a real thermometer, digits must rise as we move along and away from the bulb of a Sudoku thermometer. Now, a digit in a, in a black circle. Uh, OK, that's why we've got grey circle for these. It's distinguishing between the grey circles of the arrows and the black circles of the quadruple clues. So a digit in a black circle must appear in at least one of the four cells surrounding that circle. So this little two by two area here has to contain a three and a six. That little two by two area there has to contain a two. That is not a great deal of information, but that is what those circles mean. And digits along a blue line have an equal sum within each three by three box, the line passes through. So these are equal sum lines. So, okay, it's got an example here. It says, e.g., well, basically the example is saying that those two cells, um, let's make those, oh, that's mean. I've just realized I haven't got my normal fluorescent green option today. Why is that? I don't know. But these two cells have to add up to those two cells. Um, so, to, and that's because this blue line, you can see the only cells it occupies within this three by three box are these two. So you add up these two lines. Let's, let's make them add up to something interesting. Let's make them add up to, let's go back to numbers, six and seven. Six and seven is 13. So these two squares would have to add up 13. And, they have, and that's because these are the two cells in this three by three box that the line occupies. So if we, if we repeat that logic for the other line, then we've got these three digits have to add up to the same as those two digits. And that's all the rules. Do have a go at the puzzle. I cannot recommend Zeta Maths puzzles highly enough to you. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. But now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Now, hmm, there's a, I mean, there's a lot of secrets that one might be able to avail oneself of in this puzzle. Um, did I just say off, of, avail oneself of? What is going wrong with my speaking today? Um, mm. Oh, nearly, nearly had an idea. Oh, 
Well, um, no, it doesn't quite work. Okay, so my idea was to look at this Renban line and think about the numbers 3 and 6 as regards it. Because that is a 4-cell Renban line. So it must have a 3 or a 6 or both on it, mustn't it? Because if it didn't, if we, if we were going to try and make this line up without 3 or 6 on it... Maverick! Hello, Maverick! What a delight it is to have you buzz past my window every day when I start a video. Oh, the joy. Um, the, um, yeah, if there were no three or six on this line and we tried to find four consecutive Sudoku digits, we wouldn't be able to find them. We'd have the, the consecutive digits one and two, the consecutive digits four and five, and the consecutive digits seven, eight, and nine, and none of those are four cells long. So there must be a three or a six or both on this line and they can't go here so if they were both they would have to go here and this would be a four five pair and this would be a three the three and the six and the quadruple would be in these two cells and that's not actually ruling anything out there is it i suppose well it, it is a little that would have to be a three or a six i think um So I know, oh, oh, I've got it, I've got it. Okay, no, this, this is really, this is very pretty and very simple and much simpler than I was making it. Okay, so I know that there is a three or a six or both on, on the purple line. Now, it can't go in this domino. So, so the three or the six or both are in this, this domino here. And that means that this black dot is not a three, six pair because that would rule 3, 6 out altogether of the purple line, and that would break it. So, there's no 2 on this line, so it's not a 1, 2 pair, and it's not a 2, 4 pair, and it's, we've just shown it's not a 3, 6 pair. There's only other one other pair of digits that are in a 1 to 2 ratio in Sudoku, and that is 4 and 8. So this is 4 and 8, which is very pretty, and that's a lot of even digits now. Oh, yes. Okay, so that makes me wonder... Um, ooh, it makes me wonder. Um, there's a lady who swears all that glitters is gold. Um, no, I'm not going to play Stairway to Heaven uh, on my guitar. Or am I? M maybe I could. Um, <laughs> I, I, I am actually tempted. Uh, Um, dum, 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 dum. I'm, I'm distracted now. I'm going to I'm going to grab my guitar. I don't know if it's in tune though. Let's see. Um, that's, that's also the scourge of all guitar um, of all guitar shops everywhere, isn't it? It is out of tune. I think it's the G string that's out of tune. Um, Anyway, let's go. Right, so there's loads of even digits in this little 2 by 3. There's got to be, right, okay, let's, uh, there's got to be two even digits, doesn't there, on this um, collection of line, <laughs> because it's a consecutive sequence of four digits, so there's going to be two odds and two even digits. So one of these digits at least has to be in this domino which which means that one of these digits at least has to be on this Renban now what does that mean I don't know, actually. It's a four-cell Renban. So if I think, I think I think there's something going on regarding even digits in this line. I just haven't quite got my head around it yet. And I'm also very conscious of the fact that there's an awful lot of real estate in this puzzle I've not even begun to think about. If 
Hmm, let me think. There must be a 3 or a 6 on here. Or both. If there was both, this would be 3, 6. And this would be 4, 5. To make sure it's consecutive. And there would be a 4 on that Remban. And there wouldn't be a 3 on it. Because of the 3, 6 pair here. No, so that couldn't work, could it, actually? That's interesting. Yeah, you can't you can't put 3 and 6 on this now, because they'd have to go there. That would be a 3-6 pair. And now, I mean, it's complicated, but there would be a 4 here, because to make this consecutive, this would have to be 4-5. That plonks a 4 by Sudoku up at the start of row 1. And if there's a 4 on it, but no 3 and 6 on this Remban, it cannot be filled. It's very, it's difficult. But that means that there's either 3 or 6 here, but not both. That feels tricky then. Okay, right. So we can do this. This is very, very interesting. So I think now we need to ask the question, how is there not a six up here? Because if there's no six up there, we know that there is a three up there. Because we can't miss both off this line. So there is a three up here, which means there is no three on this Renban. But what are the two even digits that we're now including on this Renban. It can't have 6 on it anywhere, so it can't have 8 on it anywhere, so the two even digits are 2 and 4 and they're here, which means that the 2 and the 4 in this in the row 1 are up here, where what do they need to have on them in order to make a consecutive sequence? They must have 3, so it doesn't work. So that means there is a 6 in this domino. Um, now that means that there's no 2 on this line, doesn't it? Because 2, 3, 4, 5, you couldn't get to 6. So there is no 2 on here. There is a 6 in one of those squares. There is a 6 in one of these squares. Uh, can it go in the... I mean, I think it can go in the 14 cage. If it goes in the 14 cage, we need two more digits that add up to 8, which couldn't be 2, 6, so they'd be 1, 7 or 3, 5. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So there is no, there is a six, but there's no three. So this, this four cell sequence is selected from the digits four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So there must be a seven on it. Right. Okay. So there's now a seven on this sequence, but we have no clue where there is where that is and there is a four or an eight on it which are in these square oh that's is that doing something to this uh that feels like well it's doing something i can't quite work out what it is this 12 cage now can't be four eight because if it was four eight um you couldn't have a second even digit on this quadruple because the second even digit is four or eight um, to go to accompany the six so this is either three nine or five seven now feels quite difficult for it to be five seven to me but if it was five seven this would be six seven oh no and then that could be maybe eight nine Ooh. okay um No, right, that doesn't, right, okay, so we've got more intricacies to perform here. I actually agree with, who Who was it? F, F. Nenu or something. F. Nenu, this, this puzzle is rewarding weird questions at the moment. This is a really extraordinary sequence, this, this opening stuff up here. Um, now, here was my thought. There is a six down here, so this Renban line which is four cells long, 
it doesn't have 6 on it, so it doesn't have 7, 8 or 9 on it. So it is consumed or and con constituted of the digits 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And it must have 2, 3 and 4 on it, actually, now I think about that. Now that means it's either 1, 2, 3, 4 or 2, 3, 4, 5. So it meets up with its friend the 3 in box 2. And we can ask where 3 goes in row 3. And it must be in those two cells. But also, you can't have 8 here now, can you? Yeah, it's that, it's, it's that simple, actually. That, that's, that is as simple as I can, as I can put it. Um, I know that there is a second even digit on this Renban. And it's got to be close enough to 6, so it can't be 2. Now, if it was 8, it would have to go here. But by Sudoku, that would put 8 in, in the, at the start of row 1, where it cannot go. So the only other even digit we can now use is 4, which must be here. So there is a 4 here, a 4 there, and a 4 up here. So there is no 4 there, or there would be a third 4 in these two rows of the grid, and that's not going to work. And now we know the, cons the constitution of this Ren band, because it's got 4, 6, and 7 on it. So it is now 4, 5, 6, and 7. We know these are not 6. We know these are not 4. Ah, <laughs> that's, that's beautiful, isn't it? It's so beautiful. Because now, this how could this be a 5, 7 pair? It would break this. Both of those squares would be 4. So this must be 3, 9. Oh, I see. Yes, okay. Yes, all right. Let me just complete my pencil marking. This black dot at the bottom now, it can't be 3, 6. It can't be 4, 8. So it must be 1, 2. That's the only thing it can be because it can't be 2, 4 either. Um, well, now this square is a 7 or an 8. And I know that because of arrow logic. Um, these two digits now are at least a 3, 4 pair. Uh, in fact, there must be a 3 on them. Uh, oh, actually, that's useful. <laughs> Hang on. Um, no, there must be a 3 on them because there's no 1 or 2. And, and it's either going to be 3, 4 or 3, 5 to add up to 7 or 8. It can't add up to 9 because nine's already appeared in this box. Um, now, the other thought I'm having... Well, hang on, now this is big. What is 25? Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Right, okay, more beautiful logic. Um, what we need to do now is not focus on this domino exclusively, but to think about these five cells together. Because, I mean, the fact is, with this being a 1 and a 2, means that these have a minimum size as well. And in fact, once 3 is in this domino, the minimum size of this is 4, 5, 6. But the point is, you couldn't make this 4, 5, 6. Because if you did, this would be at least 3, 7. And that's too big. So what we actually should do is consider that little pentomino, that p pentomino of digits, together and say, what's the minimum value of all five of those digits? They all have to be different. Well, that's going to be three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, I know the triangular number for seven is 28, i.e. what's one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven. So I know that's 28. Deduct, deduct the one and the two from that, you get 25. So I know the minimum value of this is 25. But what's the maximum value of this? Well, the region sum line, if we made this an eight, nine pair, that's the most it could add up to. So that's 17. And this is 8, and that's 25. So the maximum value is 25, and the minimum value is 25. And we have, in old economists speak, reached equilibrium. And that means we must have that situation arising. So this is 8. This is a 3, 4, 5. Well, this is good, actually. This is a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 quintuple. But we know there's a 3 on this arrow. So that's a 3, 5 pair, which means these squares are 
4, 6 and 7, which do add up to 17. So that suggests that's right. That's an 8, 9 pair by Sudoku. 8 and 9 go in these squares. You can't put 9 in the middle of... Oh, well, I was about to say you can't put 9 in this position on a thermo. And that would have been correct and is correct. But actually, you can't put 8 there either. Because if you put 8 there, what do you have to put into the tip of the thermo? You've got to put 9, but we've just said that 9 is in one of those two squares. It's not there. So that's not 8. And that gives us another 8-9 pair in this box. And oh, this is lovely. It's uh, It's got an absolutely gorgeous flow. Um, because now I have to talk about secrets of green lines. Um, because there are some. So green lines, the, these are the lines where adjacent digits have to differ by at least 5. Well, the first and most profound secret, as Maverick does another fly pass, is that you cannot put a 5 on a green line. And that's because if we do try and put 5 in here, we'll mistype it. No, that's not the reason. Uh, if this is a 5, this square has to be at least 5 different from 5. If we try and go downwards, we get to 0 or negative numbers. And if we go upwards, we get to 10 or higher numbers. And they are not Sudoku numbers. So no 5s live on these lines. And that means any number on this line we can think of as having one of two properties. It will either be less than 5 or it will be greater than 5. Now, the interesting thing is, imagine it's less than 5. This number will now be greater than 5 because even if this is as small as it can be, and even if we only increase it by the bare minimum of 5, we'd still reach 6. So this has to be at least 6. But now, imagine this was as big as it could be. Imagine it was 9 and we only deducted the, the minimum from that. We'd be de deducting 5 from 9 and we would get 4. So again, we, would, we, we get this oscillation in the polarity along the green line. So where, where it must go low, high, low, high, low, high, or high, low, high, low, high, low. It must do one of those things. And once you know that this is a high digit, you know both of these have got to be low digits and this has got to be a high digit. In fact, it's not 8 and 9, is it? Because we've got 8 and 9 here. So, this is now 6 or 7. Now, 6 and 7 can only go next to 1s and 2s on green lines because we're looking for digits that are 5 away. That, could, that gives me a 1-2 pair in row 9. It nearly gives me a 1, 2, 3, 4 quadruple in column 1. Maverick, Maverick's going bananas. Maverick, don't, oh! No, yes, yes. Okay, easy. This is a 1, 2 pair. So this can't be 1s and 2s. So it's a minimum of 3 and 4. And that's what it is. Because this cannot be 8 or 9. So it can't be higher than 7. So that's 7. This isn't 7. So one of these two cells is, oh, whoopsie, one of these two cells is seven. Now, it's very hard for this to be a high digit. If it was a high digit, it would have to be six. And six, six and four are interesting on green lines because they are monogamous digits. They only have one partner. So if this was six, this would be forced to be one. And one of these would be a 1, and one of these would be a 1, and this would be a 2 in the corner. And then I couldn't put 2. Ah, then I could. No, right. Okay, that's very strange. Here is an Fnenu weirdity. That digit. Where does that digit go in this row of the puzzle? Yeah, no, this is totally obvious, actually. Oh, I'm so sorry. Right, it, it, if I'd thought about ones and twos, it would have been obvious. That digit's the same as that digit. And therefore it goes there in row, row seven. Right, so this is one or two. It's most certainly not six. And that means that we can do, again, oscillating polarity on this whisper line. So this has to be a low digit, not a four, because four is monogamous and can only partner nine on both sides of it. But these digits are 6, 7, 8, and 9. And that one can't be 6 for the same reason that this one couldn't be 4. 6 would have to have 1 on both sides of it. 
This can be six, I think. Um, which is nearly good, but not quite good enough. Four, eight. Oh, four, eight. Look. There. Ah! Yes! Okay. Look. Four, eight. Looking down here. So this is a four. But what does that mean this is? That's three in the corner. That's three in the spot. Light or oh, proving its position. I've got a one two pair in this column now, so I need five, six, and nine into these squares, which might be good. It looks like something's trying to go on here, doesn't it? Should I put the two? I might put the two in one of those four squares so I sort of can see that more clearly. Um. Hmm. Um, ah, now hang on, hang on. I know there's a six in here, don't I? I remember. So that is not a six in the corner. This is a five or a nine. So there are, ah, this is good. So there's a six in this column is in one of those two squares. So that's not six. So now I've got a seven, eight, nine triple. So this is not seven. This is five or six. I know one of these is six. So if that's five, that's six. That's six. This is six. Might do some things. I'm not sure. In the bottom row, I've got a lot of digits. Five, six, and seven not place. So, ah, okay. So this is five, six, or seven. This is five, six, or seven, but not seven. So this is five or six. This, uh, no, okay. Yeah, that, that I thought this was going to be better, but these being low numbers is not terribly surprising, is it? Oh dear, I've got a feeling I'm getting badly stuck now. Um, eight in the eight in the top row. I've not I've not placed, and it's got to be in one of those two squares, I think. Ah, and I can get it, can't I? Because this eight, sing, sing. I can do Sudoku. That's what I need to do. So I get an eight up there. No, oh, nine in the top row. No, two possible, two possibilities. I think. Assuming I haven't missed more Sudoku, which I might have done actually. Nine is nine is in one of those three cells, which is going to be important. Is it? I don't know. Oh no, I've missed something else here that's really obvious. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Oh dear, I think I'm blushing. Um, yeah, look at this little configuration of Renban-ness that Zetamath has plonked into his puzzle carefully. Um, this is a 4, 5, 6, 7 quadruple. So these squares here, and indeed this one, but before I manage to fill this one in, what digits can these not be? Well, these digits can't be, they simply cannot be four, five, six, or seven, because if you put four, five, or six, four, five, six, or seven into these squares, it's ruling them out of the entirety of the Renban. Now, the only implication I've immediately seen from that is that I can't put seven into these squares. Now, if I can't put seven in there, where's seven going in the first row? It's got to go here. And that's putting the kibosh on this being a five, because now I knew one of these was a six, so it's that one. These squares don't include seven now, so this has become a four, five pair, which means this square is not four. This square's a six or a seven. That square's not an eight. That square, oh no, I was about to say that square's not an eight. I hadn't managed to put an eight into that square. Six, seven here, is that doing something? I already knew one of these was a seven, because I've got this uh, triple in column eight. Six is in one of those two squares. Let's just check whether we can do some Sudoku with that. Hmm, okay. One, two, three. 
So these squares here, simply as a virtue of the, they, they now see a four, five, six, seven, eight quintuple. So they can only be ones, twos, threes, and nines. That can't be nine or three. It sees a three in one of these. So this is down to one or two. Now we don't know, do we, what the nature of this is. If this, if this, well, if that's a two, we know that two is on this ren band. So that would be a two. Oh, that might work actually. If this is one, we don't know whether this has got one on it. Um, hmm, okay, I might be about to get badly stuck, I think. Let me just uh, let me just think about this for a second. Um, what clue, if any, is obviously underused here? In this row, I know there's a four over this side. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, Oh, I've got nothing. I can't do this. Hang on. Okay, maybe the thermo. Yeah, all right. There is there is a trick we can do with the thermo, I can see. Those squares are all low digits. When I say low, I mean they're all from 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So if I was to make this as low as a 5, this would be lower because it's... Um, obviously is more towards the bulb of the thermo and that would put six digits in this column that have to be selected from one two three four and five so that digit is at least a six um, now it can't be nine obviously so this digit is higher this is seven eight or nine and that digit is not eight because of this so this is seven or nine ah this can't be eight because then that would then if this is eight this would be nine and that would have no fill so this is six or seven ah ah seven nine pair oh this is big i've got a seven nine pair in this row so that square is a six but that means that square is a five i think it can't be uh, yes it just simply cannot be any of the high digits so that's five that's six that's nine in the corner. Aha. Now. Oh, this is, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. We've done it. Because now, where's five in the top row? And the answer is, I haven't got a clue, except it's on the Ren ban. So if it's on the Ren ban, one is not on the Ren ban. So this is, let's get rid of all of these, uh, this scattering of pencil marks. This is a two, three, four, five Ren ban. And five is in these, so five is not there. Now, what's that doing? That felt that felt that felt like it was really important. Um, <laughs> um, come on, Simon! <laughs> Don't let the nefarious Zeta Math beat you. What's going on? I've got, I'm probably going to have to think about this 14 cage, I think. Do I know whether it's got six in it? If it's got six in it, it needs two more digits that add up to eight. Can't, it, oh yeah, it can't have three in it, can it now? There's a three up here and there's a three here. So there's no three in this cage. In fact, there's no four in this cage either. So it doesn't have three or four on it. So it must have one or two, mustn't it? If it doesn't have one, two, three or four, it would be a minimum of five, six, seven. And five, six, seven is 18. That's more than 14. There is a knowledge bomb for you. So it's got, so it's got one of one and two because it can't have both one and two because you can't put an 11 in the Sudoku cell. Um, so it's got one of one and two. So if it's got two in it, then that two has to be there because we know there's a two up here and that would make this a one and that a three um and these two squares would add up to 12 
which is impossible actually. Oh that, yes, it's that simple. You just can't put two in this cage. If you put two in it, you have to put it there. These two digits have to add up to 12. Without being three, nine, four, eight, or five, seven, that limits your options. So there is not a two in this cage. So there is a one in this cage. Okay, I don't know if I know where the one goes though. So there's a one in the cage and two cells that add up to 13 which don't include four or five. So it's six, one, six, seven. That's right, isn't it? There's a four, five there, there's a four, five there. So this is one, six, seven out of absolutely nowhere. It's very pretty logic again. And it doesn't, does it do anything? A six, this isn't six, I can see that because six is in those cells. This isn't six because six is in the cage. Oh, right, okay. No, I don't see it. I'm not seeing it, sorry. I thought I was about to announce something important. I'm <laughs> not at all, I don't know. I don't know what that does. Right, what is what are the possible values of this digit? Is it just eight and nine? That would be useful, actually. That That's probably it. Yeah, this digit here sees one, it sees two, three, four, five, sees six, seven, that's beautiful, isn't it? It's just simple Sudoku, but that's gonna give us an eight, nine pair, which means this is seven, which means this is six, which means this is nine, this is nine, this is eight, this is seven. Come on, are you gonna crack now? Seven is in one of those squares. Um, nah. Two, three, five. I don't know. I'm going to make that red because it's annoying me that it's not red. Uh, come on, Simon. So these two squares are the same, the same digit. Oh dear, dear, oh dear. Come on. <laughs> Is it? This square's low now, isn't it? Right. Oh, that doesn't help. No, it doesn't help. I thought that was going to do it, but it doesn't help. Uh, it's just one, two, three, four, or five, and it's part of a quintuple in this column. And I don't even know what digit it is. Botheration. All right, let's try maybe this clue. We've got... It's either this clue or... No, it can't be that one. Either I've missed Sudoku, which is the most probable situation. Do not restart my, uh, my device, Bit Defender. That would be jolly naughty. Um... Either it's, I've missed Sudoku, which is likely, or it's, I think it's going to be this blue line. So we, we have got low digits on it. That I can see. How can that be seven? Ah, that's the right. So straight away, that's useful. The maximum size of these two squares would be a four, three pair, which would mean this would have to be a seven, zero combination if that's a seven and that doesn't work. So we can't put seven there. So that's seven. which nearly does things, but doesn't actually do anything. I suppose, no, it gets me a seven here, okay. And a four, six pair, so that's not four anymore. Six in, yes, yeah, six in this little triple is now there, I think. And that's just taken, directly taken the position of seven. So that's now the seven in box three, which means I get a one, six pair here. It means this is seven, eight, nine to complete the box. Now that's got to be useful, I think. And the reason for that is, come on, Simon, why is this, what's this doing? One, two, one, two, four in this column is all we've got left to place. That's not three. Uh, so I've got a one, two, four triple. So this squares a five by a process of Sudoku. And five, okay, so what's this going to be then? This is at least adding up to six. This can't be a four now because I can't make these add up to nine. And that's great because that gives me a four in the corner of this box. So this is six or seven. So this is four and two or four and three. There is no one in this domino. 
It's definitely got four in it. So that's definitely not four. And that's going to be useful. Well, okay, there's a, there's a trick again we can do here, look. How could this possibly be a 2-4 pair? <laughs> and it can't be for a lovely reason. If this is a 2-4 pair, where do you put the 2 in this box? And the problem is you put it on the same region sum line. But the implication of that would be that 4 equals 5. Because if you've got the same number on both sides of this line, the other two digits need to be the same, and they can't be. So this can't be 2-4 must be 3 4 and if it's 3 4 we can know it we know it adds up to 7 so that does become a 2 after that so this becomes a 1 uh, now what's that doing to the world hopefully marvelous things 1 is now in this domino this is now 2 3 and 9 to place in this column which <laughs> Which I feel like that should be. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that's doing. Okay, this square here is now a naked single. That's a two because it sees one and three. And that means two comes out of these squares. And that means this square is one, which means by coloring we get a whole load of digits into the puzzle. Um, so what do we need here? We need 1s, 5s and 6s. So let's actually just fully pencil mark and hope that we can resolve this with some sort of a plum. 3, 4 and 8 into these squares. So that's a naked single. That's a 3. And this is a 4 and this is an 8. Come on. Okay, yeah. So now these seem to be a 5, 8 pair, don't they? Let's put that in. That's 3 and 9 are resolved. This digit is a 1 or a 2 only. So we need 1, 2 and 9 to complete this box. And has this finished the puzzle? He says, hoping. Uh, I'm sure it has. <laughs> Just can't see immediately how. Okay, th this isn't 3 anymore, so... Let me just double check. Yes, there is a th this this pencil mark is correct. So we do get the three in box three. So these squares are a one, two, four triple. So that's the four. That's a one and that's a two. Ah, no, no, no. Hang on. Sorry. 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 I thought I needed four. I most certainly don't. I need five. This is one, two, five. And that might be less good. It is less good. No. Um, no, it, it very much is less good. Oh dear. Three, three is in that domino, so this square is not three, as as we could have seen from this. Actually, now I see it. That digit and that digit are the same because the two or the three must be. I'm just going to notate that for a second don't think it helps not sure um, two in this one two five triple the two is up here so this is not two which we could have got from this now is this now resolved no oh is it going to be down here then maybe maybe I can do some more down here I'm just not ah, two here gives me a one okay more Sudoku of course why would I think it's anything else? Um, pregnant pause while I try and work out <laughs> what's the simplest way of figuring this, this whole thing. It just doesn't seem to want to rele release its grip, does it? One is in one of these squares. I don't know if it has to be on the bulb, but if it is on the bulb, it's really not doing very much work, is it? Or is there something going on in this column two? Yes, ah, look, this two is going there. That's great, that's what I've been missing. So now this square, I think has to be three. This is two, four, five. This is not three, so this is a two, nine pair. Let's tidy up all our pencil marks. 
and 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 hope that's made a difference has it that's not two in the corner that's four or five in the corner the three down here pops back down here again that is you oh gosh it's the whisper so this becoming a four we know that's monogamous so it must go with nine and that gives me eight eight five here which takes five out of this square so that gets me five one <laughs> grief six over here that's now a one these squares here look like they have to be a two and a five that nine is making this square an eight which gives me the eight and the four the four and the five the five and the two the two and the nine wow wow okay i was not expecting this to go like that and then this is five and this is a two four pair this is six now so that's getting me a six and a four okay so now these squares are one three and five and this square is just three. Oh, hang on this square is just three or five so how could that be five no that cannot be five because this can't be higher than it so it's something to do with this ah no look two two in the corner can't go next to six on a whisper silly simon so that fixes this is seven so that's seven that's nine that's nine that's two that's two that's four that's four that's three that puts the three on the bulb which fixes the thermo very prettily that's one that's one that's six wow what a finish what a finish it's done self counter 90 in 2.6 days so a lot of people have enjoyed that puzzle and i don't blame them that is absolutely beautiful isn't it it's just a lovely lovely puzzle and i an f nef f nenu i think nailed it you had to ask strange questions certainly at the beginning i love the fact i think it was about parity and the interplay of these lines and the quadruple clues is really gorgeous and the fact that these black dots which don't seem like they're going to do anything actually do do things is genuinely surprising uh, so that was lovely i love the fact once i got this to be a one-two pair there was a whole flurry of activity at the bottom of the grid involving arrows well that was a nice trick wasn't it the um three four five six seven quintuple there uh, I like the fact that this couldn't be a seven once this was a three four pair there was lots of things I liked lots of things and for that say to math I am appreciative as usual you have not let the Sudoku world down and you've entertained me royally thank you very much for that loved it let me know in the comments whether you had a go and how you got on I enjoy the comments especially when they're kind and we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.